Don't think for a second, my brothers. Jannah is the reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, for those that are successful on the day of judgment, I will reward them. What is Allah going to reward you? My brother and my sister, this is now very personal now. Because Allah is talking to you. With all of these difficulties in dunya, you know, throughout the three days, we've been trying to encourage you to become a better Muslim, to become a better Muslim, to become someone that's, you know, all of these things. But for why? What's the purpose? What's the payment? What is the reward? What is to happen, you know, if I become the best Muslim who's an active da'i, who's an active this and an active that, what's the reward? Allah says, if you are successful, if you pass for you, I have prepared something. My reward to you is something no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, no heart and no mind has ever imagined or contemplated. This is what I have prepared. This is what I have prepared for those believers that are successful. I have prepared for them a paradise, the likes of which no one has ever seen or heard or even imagined. This is what awaits you, my brother and my sister. Jannah, Jannah, Tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. A paradise awaits you, under which rivers flow underneath your feet. Allah doesn't tell you, you live on the waterfront. Allah says underneath your feet, underneath your houses, underneath your palaces, rivers flow. This is what I have prepared for my believers. This is what I've prepared for those that pass. And let me tell you, my brothers, Wallahi, Jannah is of levels. And don't you for a minute think that those that are on the high levels are the same as those on the low levels. I'll give you an example. When you come to the airport, they ask you, so are you flying business or economy? You say economy, they tell you they line up with the sheep, inshallah. Come to the left. You look at the queue, yeah, Allah, you think, bro, this plane's gonna leave and we're gonna be still standing here. Look at the people. But those who fly business are first class. So, man, please, right this way. Right this way. You're worried I'm two, three kilos overweight. He has 50 kilos over whatever he has. 50 kilos is the minimum of what he's allowed. Are they the same? Then when they take you on to the airplane, how do they take you in? They make you walk through first class and business class and tell you, sir, keep going straight down to the toilets, please. And they make you see the seats. You've seen the seats. You've seen the size of the TV screens. And you walk through and your heart burns. That for 14 hours I'm going to be smelling the toilets while this guy's reclining all the way back. But you and I can still both boast that, hey, I was on the Emirates flight with him. But can you really be compared? The food is not the same. The seats are not the same. Even the hosts are not the same. You notice how they're always pretty in the front and you get to the back, you think, Ya Latif, please don't serve me, man. I don't want to. Everything changes in dunya. What about what Allah has prepared for those who are on the high levels? You think they're the same? Wallahi, they're not. In Jannah, my brothers and sisters, I want you to think about paradise because this is what drives us. In paradise, my brothers and my sisters, time will no longer exist. Allah says in Jannah, In Jannah, my brother and my sister, you will live therein forever. And in not a hundred years, not a thousand years, not ten thousand years, not a hundred... You will live therein forever. You will never, ever, ever die. 